Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monica and today I will discuss about the Jira software cloud plans and pricing. This is very important to understand the plan and pricing of the Jira software. If you are using a Jira software first time and you are thinking to start with the Jira software. If you have any question related to the plan and pricing of the Jira software cloud, then this video will definitely help you. I would request you to watch this video till the end so that you can understand all the features and all the plans and the pricing of the Jira software. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and start to exploring about the plans and pricing of the Jira software software. I'm on the Atlassian official website which is atlassian.com when you will come here and click on the products menu. After that you will click on a Jira software and then you will click on pricing. Then you will see this page where you will get information about the plan and pricing of the Jira software. In this video I will cover only the cloud. I'm not gonna cover this data center part in this video. So let's come back to the cloud here and you can see here you can mention your number of users like how many users are on your team and how often would you like to be billed monthly or annually here the users are 10 if you will change the user here right now it's 10 and you can see 81.50 per month and 160 usd per month if you will go and change it to the 15 then here you can see uh, 1 to 2.25 USD per month and 240 USD per month so mm, pricing are changing and if you will go from monthly to annually then you can see the pricing are also changing so there are the four plans here for the Jira software free standard premium and enterprise okay right now I will go and make it 10 because right now I'm gonna uh, focus only for the 10 users and on the basis of monthly billing here you can see we have the free standard premium and enterprise four plans are here if your team is small and just you want to get started in jira you can go with a free plan this is best for a small team and if you have up to 10 users then you can go with the free plans if you have more than 10 users and your team is growing then you can go with the standard you can change your subscription plan at any time from free to standard standard to premium and enterprise so here this is the premium where 8.15 usd per user is the price and total will be 81.50 usd per month if you will come with the premium one uh, then the price is $16 per user and $160 USD per month. And this one is enterprise. If you have a larger team and they are dynamically scale and if you want to stay more secure with the most advanced offering from the Atlassian, then you can contact to the Atlassian sales team related to the billing information. So we have checked the free standard premium and enterprise uh, plan billings. Now we will scroll down and see about the features for the free. You can use up to 10 users and here is the unlimited users, unlimited project issues and the forms for the free and backlog list, board, timeline, calendar and summary views, reports and dashboards, 100 automation per month and the 2 GB of storage. If you will come into the standard, then we have unlimited users, users, roles and permissions. In the free plans, you cannot manage your roles and permissions. If you want to manage your roles and permissions, then you have to change your subscription from free to standard. Here we have the anonymous access, data residency and 1700 automation per month, 250 GB of storage. If you will come to the premium and the enterprise plan, then we have also AI powered search and editing via the Atlassian AI advanced planning cross project dependency approvals and thousand automations per user per month and unlimited storage if you will go with the enterprise plan then you will get everything from premium plus holistic insights with the atlassian analytics advanced identity and security including atlassian access multiple sites up to 150 centralized per user billing enterprise support and unlimited automation cool now we will come here and we will compare the feature between the free standard premium and enterprise if we will go with the unlimited issues then definitely you will get unlimited issues in the free standard premium and enterprises plan 
you will get the unlimited projects with all the plans unlimited forms customized workflow project templates backlog view list view board timeline and these the other features you will get with all the plans like free standard premium and enterprise if you are not aware about what is board view what is timeline view and summary view then you can simply click and read about it like summary view gives you an overall snapshot of your team's work including status overview workloads and more and learn more about the summary so you can go through and read more about the summary view like this you if you want to know about these features you can simply click read and if you want to learn more then you can simply click on the learn more you will get more information about these features okay now we'll come to this section bring all your teams into jira here user limit per site in a free plan 10 users in a standard 35000 premium 35000 and in the enterprises we also have 35000 users limit if you will go with the number of sites then in the free we have one standard one premium one but with the enterprise up to 150 like storage 2gb 250 gb unlimited unlimited email notification with the free plans we can only have the limits of the 100 emails per day but for the standard premium and enterprise they are unlimited the same with the user roles and permissions and the anonymous access with the free plans you don't have any control with the user's roles and permissions you cannot play with the permissions and the anonymous access but if you have a standard premium and enterprise plan then definitely you have this feature to play with the permissions we will come to the simplify cross function work advanced planning plans is only the premium feature and enterprise feature so if you want to use the advanced planning plans then this is available only for the premium and the enterprises not with the free and the standard dependency management you can use uh, like in the free standard premium and enterprise plan but there is a limit like you can use only with the single project with the free and the standard but if you'll go with the premium and the enterprise you can use like in the cross project dependency management capacity management is only available for the premium and enterprise expandable issues hierarchy premium and enterprise and the scenario modeling and approval is also for the premium and enterprise what is uh, scenario modeling you can read scenario allows you to explore alternative paths for your plans such as best case and the worst case this allow you to quickly assess the downstream impact and trade-off before committing to the changes if you want to learn more about the scenario modeling just click and you can learn more this is scale on the atlassian platform you can see what is available in the free standard premium and enterprise plan ai is just only for the premium and enterprise automation there is a limit like in a free hundred a premium thousand and if you will go with the enterprise unlimited atlassian analytics atlassian data leak data connectors and the uh, sso active directory saying these are only like uh, available if you have the atlassian access program and atlassian access is included with the enterprise plan but the atlassian analytics atlassian data leak and the data connectors will come with the enterprise not with the free standard and the premium these are the enterprise features only now we'll come to the manage users and the products then here we have a domain verification yes you can do the domain verifications and claim your accounts with the free and standard premium and enterprises if even you can manage your session duration in the free standard and the premium plans but if you'll go with the like if you want to see the admin insights sandbox release track and the project archive then these are only available with the premium and the enterprise user count centralized user subscriptions and the product request only for the enterprise like this you will get information about the security and compliance you can like use the password policies in the free standard premium and enterprises plan both but if you want like you no know, audit log site changes then this is available with the standard premium and features but audit log user activity is only available with the enterprise and by okay is also the 
enterprise feature what is bui okay so early access to encrypt jira standard and custom issue fields data with the key you manage in your own instance of aws kms so this is the byok encryption if you will come to the customer support section then you can read about like uh, from where you can get a customer support if you are in the free plan only the community support is available standard local business hours premium 24 into 7 99.9 .9. And if you are in the enterprise plan, then 24 into 7 enterprise support and 99.95% guaranteed uptime SLA. That's cool. If you want to learn more about the features, then you can simply click here and, and here you will find the more information about the Jira software feature. If you want to try the Jira software free, then you can simply click on get it free and you can start your exploring with the free plan of the Jira software. That's all about the pricing and plans of the Jira software. If you want to check by yourself, you can visit this link and check what I have explained in this video. Now you have a basic understanding of the Jira software plan and pricing. We will meet in the next video to learn more about the Confluence plans and pricing. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel. I get the motivations to create this content when I get some comments from my viewers and likes and subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.